Hello everyone and welcome back to XDA TV. This is the top 50 XDA feed stories of 2018. We'll be checking out the top 50 apps from XDA feed and I'll be putting the number of thanks for each app in the bottom left of the screen as we check them out. So let's open literally 50 tabs on Chrome and make it use 3 gigs of my memory so I can make this video. Android P volume slider is a volume control widget that mimics Android P's volume slider on pixels. Fingerprint gestures adds gestures to your fingerprints. Obviously you can enable back home recent apps, sleep, power button menu, scroll down, scroll up, open notifications panel and so on. Google Tasks was released to the public by Google on the Play Store. Hibernator makes your device sleep better by killing some apps, speeding up your phone, freeing up the memory and saving the battery. And of course cooling your phone because it closes the apps you don't need. Screener makes you take better screenshots. Movies which we checked out on XDA this year adds some music visualization to your navigation bar. Overdrop, which is a widget and an app that does animated weather. Datally was released by Google, which helps you save mobile data by connecting to a VPN of some sort. Notin is basically notes in the notification shade. Bromite, which is a Chromium plus ad blocking. It's an open source project with custom patches for ad blocking. Material notification shade replaces your default stock notification shade with a more customizable one. DevCheck is a device checking app featuring a lot of info taken from your device including hardware system, battery network apps and sensors. Ava lock screen replaces your stock lock screen with a more customizable one. Focus Go is one of the most lightweight gallery apps at only 1.5 megabytes. Instant Face Unlock allows you to unlock your device instantly after face recognition. Firefox Lite is the lightning fast and lightweight web browser designed with you in mind. This was released by Mozilla. Chroma Keyboard is a lightweight keyboard and adapts to the color of the currently opened app. Pair Launcher is a launcher that allows you to customize a lot of stuff in your home screen. One Lyrics shows your music's lyrics taken from Spotify, Google Play Music, Amazon Music, Samsung Music Player, and a lot of other music streaming apps. Rootless Pixel Launcher was updated, allowing you to run the Pixel Launcher root free. Launcher Launcher or Launcher Launcher by Deletescape is one of the most respected launchers on XDA. Google Podcasts was released by Google. L Speed was featured on XDA Feed, which increases performance and extends battery life. It's one of the most popular uh, modding apps on XDA. FastHub for GitHub allows you to quickly access GitHub on mobile. YouTube Music was released by Google. Android Pie Fonts, which is a magisk module that allows you to run Android Pie Fonts on your non-Android Pie device. Hyperion Launcher was featured as well on XDA Feed, which is a respected launcher on XDA. Energy Bar, which I have featured in one of my previous videos as well, puts a bar on your notification bar that shows you the battery percentage. Fluid Navigation Gestures basically disables your navigation bar and replaces them with gestures. Battery Charging Animation plus Full Battery Alarm gives you sweet little animations when you're charging your battery. FX File Explorer is another file explorer for your taste with no ads, no annoyances, no analytics and no tracking. Universal Copy basically gives you the ability to copy any text even the ones that you cannot copy by default. Taskbar allows you to easily multitask on your device using something like a PC start button for example. Ruthless Pixel 2 Launcher was released based on AOSP Pixel Launcher. 
Easy Join Essential allows you to send files and clipboard sharing between your phone and your PC. Another rootless Pixel 2 launcher, but now with Google Now page working. PUBG Mobile Lite Edition was released. Pixel Launcher Mods was released as well, allowing you to mod your existing Pixel Launcher. Tuga Browser by Tuga Power is a Snapdragon optimized browser built from CAF sources. Another rootless launcher was featured on XDA feed. Poco Launcher was featured on XDA feed as well. Tor Browser, which allows you to browse the internet fairly securely. Niagara Launcher is a fresh and clean launcher featured on XDA feed as well. GB WhatsApp was updated and this update was featured on XDA feed. PUBG FX Plus tool allows you to modify PUBG's graphics in order to increase its graphics or decrease it for better performance. YouTube Vanced Edition, which is one of the most popular YouTube versions on XDA. It allows you to block ads and play your videos in the background. PowerShade allows you to replace your notification bar with a more customizable one. Another rootless pixel launcher, but this time it's 3.0 based on AOSP 8.1 launcher 3. XDA's navigation gestures basically replaces your navigation bar with gesture navigations. And finally, one of the most popular apps on XDA feed, Why Music, converts YouTube videos into music. This is the most thanked app on XDA feed in 2018. I also use it personally. It is my favorite music streaming app because it is completely free and literally has all of YouTube's library. So thank you all for watching this huge list of top 50 XDA feed apps of 2018. This was Rawad Zahreddin from XDA TV and I'll be seeing you soon.